for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15. Really welcome to my channel. My name is Tokwe and this is Top Notes by Tokwe. If today is the first time you see my face, I am a fragrant reviewer from Lagos, Nigeria. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I'll be elated if you subscribe to my channel. Today in the video, I'm talking about one of my favorite fragrances ever, which is Elizabeth Arden's green tea. So I have the green tea original and I have four flankers of the green tea. So if you want to see me talk about them and how different or similar let these fragrances are without much ado let's get into the video hello guys welcome back so we're going to go straight into the video so the first i mean to talk like i said i'm talking about elizabeth Arden's fragrances and the we'll first talk about the og elizabeth Arden fragrance that's the og green tea which is this, this is how it looks like. Let me bring it close to you. And then again, I have my notebook where I'm going to be looking at the notes and all that. I'm, I'm currently opening to the page where I wrote. That's the thing about the notebook. You need to swipe to the page. So this is the green tea that I have right here, okay? And this is the original green tea. This fragrance was, the notes by this fragrance is Francis Ket Dijon, so he's the famous perfumer. He's one of my favorites. And um, for the green tea, I have to be honest, there are so many notes here, but it comes, it's so put together. It has notes of bergamot, mint, orange, peels, rhubarb. It has jasmine, oak moss, flannel, fennel, fennel, sorry. It has musk. It has some white amber, green tea, jasmine, oak moss, celery seeds, caraway, and cloves and amber so it has a lot going but honestly this is a fresh clean refreshing tea scent i love it so much because it's clean you you can see that I've, 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 I've sprayed it quite a bit it's clean it's fresh it has that it's it's just a refreshing tea scent it has that spa quality to it very beautiful and this is good for when the weather is hot and i live in a place where it's very hot so i mean this is a good fragrance the thing about these green tea line is that they are not super long lasting but you should bear in mind that when you're working with freshies they don't really last long this has a good four to five hours but for me at that four to five hours is more of a skin scent it projects actively for like 45 minutes after which you may not smell it the it's 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 kind of has a, a very nice cloud around you i'll say that you can actively smell it at about let's say um at two to three hours but it, it, it has a way of cooling and refreshing you in very hot weathers so i really really like the elizabeth adding green tea i'm a lover of tea fragrance i have to be honest i love her the white tea rendition i love most of the flankers and this one too i love it you you actually smell the tea the green tea-ness of it it's there it's beautiful so if you want something and it's inexpensive honestly these fragrances are not expensive even here in nigeria it retails from anywhere from 10 to twelve thousand. so you can you know look out for them but very beautiful simplistic it has it's just a beautiful scent so that's the green tea original the next one that i'm going to talk about is the green tea bamboo this is how it has a very simple box this is how the box looks like i'm going to take it out of the box and show you so this is what it looks like it's also very similar to it i broke my cup here as you can see but it's very similar to the original that usually is the color variations and some other things that they put in that makes it okay this is not the original so this is the original I have another one that looks similar so can you see it's just the color variations that make it different so let's go to the green tea bamboo this one has notes of bamboo lemon grapefruit bergamot galbanum tamarind green tea cucumber violets it has mata mate it has a mate is a it's a caffeine drink that is drunk a lot in south america it has wooden notes it has musk it had mastic and it has orris root. This one is one of my favorite in the bunch because this is very green. That you smell, yep, it's very green. It feels, it smells like you're taking a walk through like a bamboo plantation. So you're smelling bamboos, you're smelling some soil. So there's this earthiness and there's this rusticness to this fragrance. 
it's very nice it's green it's it's fresh the cucumber makes it so refreshing and it's also rustic it's a beautiful twist you can see that well i haven't used this one much as you can see but it's 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 gone down quite a bit compared to the other one so this one to have gone in a bit I, it's my favorite of all of them initially it was a bit challenging for me but there's like the green the bamboo very green very earthy rustic rendition of the elizabeth arden green tea so this elizabeth arden green tea bamboo the next one that i have for you is elizabeth arden green tea lotus okay so this is what it looks like this one i got on um like on i bought it thrifted but it was it was full and this one you should know that i really enjoy this one this has a floral rendition to it so this one has notes of yazoo cher um cherry blossoms it has plum it has lotus tea it has lily it has osmantus it has birch and it has musk so beautiful this is like a floral version yeah but it's not so floral there's like a, a balance between floral and citrus version of the green tea so this has a good balance between floral and citrus and i really enjoy this for a long time is the fragrance that i put on when i'm going to work, work out or walk this is very nice it, it does all of them honestly they do very very well in the hot weather they blossom so well you can see that i have used every, there's none of these green teas that i haven't touched considerably to be honest because i i like them they're easy reach done reach you can easily and then they're also not expensive so and this is for in my in my rendition of this i'll say that this is like the the more the balanced floral citrus one it's clean it's this one would be ideal for spring beginning you know when spring is ending into summer when you want something floral and citrus this is fantastic i must say that they have the the same kind of longevity anywhere between the project for 45 to an hour 45 minutes to an hour and then they have like um they have a medium siage they have a medium projection but the longevity is always anywhere between four five hours maybe six if you have one that is super long lasting but that is it and because they're not expensive you can easily reapply them beautiful scents they do very well in the warm weather if you live in the tropics you should own one of these any one that you want the next one that i'm going to talk about is the green tea honeysuckle i find this to be for the ones i have in my collection this is how this one too looks they're very similar but with some different you know artistic you know i don't know things on them so this is the honeysuckle this is the lotus you can see how it looks like this is the bamboo you can see so they just they're similar but there's just slight distinctions in them to you know make but the bottles look almost the same this one i'll say is the more floral rendition of the scent it's more floral compared to the lotus tea and you can see i have gone quite this is just beautiful it has notes of green tea lemon bergamot tangerine it has um boysenberry it has green tea again in the middle honeysuckle jasmine samba it has um, neroli it has ylang ylang it has birch it has musk and it has amber this is like a floral you almost don't smell the green tea this is a beautiful floral white floral light white floral scent with you know a touch of tea in it very beautiful but i'll say that in the ones that i have this is the most floral one so if you're a lover of tea and florals white florals mostly this is the one for you the ylang ylang lends some slight sweetness to this particular one the other ones don't have so much of sweetness to it but this has slight sweetness not gourmand but you know how ylang ylang has a way of making fragrances smell sweet and it makes it smell very refined very beautiful so this is the green tea honeysuckle the next one is um green tea tropical honestly this is a recent addition to my collection but can you see i i i love 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 this one too it's so beautiful this is like a tropical really summer beach vibe kind of twist to this one and it has notes of lychee passion fruit green tea mongolia tropical fruits and musk very 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 nice looking for where i don't have fragrance i have fragrance everywhere yes 
so this is the tropical though it's it's tropical but it's slightly synthetic i need to be honest i feel like the tropical fruit and the other things that was added into it are a bit synthetic so it gives like there's a syntheticness to it but that notwithstanding for me after the bamboo this is my next favorite one which is the tropical so if i'm going to rank them i'm going to put the bamboo as my number one that i love the most i have tropical at number two i have the lotus at number three the original at number four and then i have the honeysuckle at number five it, this is because i'm not a lover of floral scents if, if you have followed me and my journey on this channel for a while you know that i don't gravitate naturally to floral scents so because of that i won't pick a scent that is floral to say that it's one of my favorite scents but that notwithstanding i think that the entire green tea range i have five of them as you can see they are very beautiful they are budget friendly and they also are just great fragrances that easy grab if you're going to the gym you're dropping the kids off you're going to the grocery shop it's very easy it's a it's, it's a dumb reach for me so if you have had experience with any of elizabeth Arden's green tea let me know tell me i feel like i should there's some colorful ones i don't know why i have only the ones that have like the green highlights and the green gradients but i think i've seen one there's a lavender that's purple there's some other ones i'm going to try and get a few more on the journey so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video as usual but what do i say stay safe and stay centered see you later Bye bye